taking a trip to New Bedford, Massachusetts, here are five things that you need to do before you leave the city. Stay tuned. Everyone and welcome. My name is Molly Armando. I am a real estate agent here at a company called Residential Properties and I'm located on the south coast of Massachusetts. So whether you've lived on the south coast your entire life, maybe you're thinking about coming here for a day trip, maybe you're thinking about relocating to this area, I'm here to help you discover and explore everything that you need to know about the south coast. So today I'm going to be telling you about five things that you have to do if you're thinking about taking a trip to New Bedford, Massachusetts. And yes, Yes, I'm a little bit biased. I live right next door. I live in Dartmouth for those of you who, who know me. Uh, but yes, I love New Bedford so much. It's one of my all time favorite cities in New England. I also have to say, if you like this content, please hit the subscribe button below so that you get notified each time I launch a new video, I post one each and every week, highlighting different things to do, things to see, places to explore on the South Coast. So I really, really appreciate that. But let's get into number one. So this is one of my all time favorite places to go as an adult. It's a great place to bring children. The Whaling Museum in New Bedford is just incredible. The Whaling Museum features the largest collection of whaling artifacts in the entire country and you get to take a tour through the maritime history and have the opportunity to survey the 66 foot long skeleton of a baby blue whale and it's actually one of the only six complete skeletons on display in the world and it's a great place for like I said adults kids it's really a great place to check out if you're in the area they have uh, one of the largest Largest, it, it is the largest collection of scrimshaw in the world and it's just so fascinating to see how you know something like this was really what built this city from the ground up back in the day so uh, if you're if you're into history even if you're not into history it's just a really cool place to walk around uh, you can actually go on board a replica of one of the old whaling ships so you know I took my kids there and they absolutely loved that part of it so highly highly recommend uh, visiting the whaling museum in New Bedford. Number two, take a drive, a walk, a bike ride, whatever it is, down to Fort Tabor in New Bedford. It's along the south end of New Bedford, and I'll actually include a link in the comment section below. Uh, it'll show you a 360 degree view of Fort Tabor, so you can get a feeling for it uh, before you actually visit, but it's beautiful. It's really on a peninsula, and you're able to see water all around you. Highly, highly recommend uh, if you're looking for some great scenery. Number three, if you have kids, you have to visit the Buttonwood Park Zoo in New Bedford. Uh, they are just incredible there. They give back to the community. They do a lot of fundraising and uh, community work. So I am just always happy to support them. Uh, it's a really well-run zoo. It's never super crowded. Uh, we have a membership there. And so I highly recommend if you have kids, check it out, bring your stroller, bring you know a little wagon to cart the kids around in. Uh, my favorite animal is the sloth, uh, but they also have elephants, which my kids love. So highly recommend the Buttonwood Park Zoo. Number four, if you're planning a trip to New Bedford, I highly recommend that you take a look at the Zyterian Performing Arts Center. Check out their website and take a look at their schedule and see if there are any upcoming events, any upcoming shows that may pique your interest and maybe you can plan a trip around one of the upcoming shows. They are constantly rolling out new things on their schedules, uh, comedy shows, musicals, plays. Uh, they have, later this month, they have a Christmas carol coming. Uh, tons of events for kids. So if you are at all interested in theater or the arts, highly, highly recommend that you take a look at their website and book one of their upcoming shows. And number five, if you come to New Bedford, you gotta try the seafood. I mean, the seafood here is really, truly the best in the world. Whether you like lobsters or scallops, shrimp, tuna, crab, you name it, the seafood from New Bedford 
is literally the freshest in the entire world. It was probably caught from a boat, you know, that day or the day before. So if you need restaurant recommendations, I'm happy to give you a few of my personal favorites. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section uh, if you need some recommendations and I'm happy to give you some of my personal favorites. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about New Bedford or the surrounding areas, please don't hesitate to give me a call, shoot me an email. If you have questions about relocating to this area, I'm happy to help as well. Thank you so much for joining. And again, my name is Molly Armando. Thanks guys.